Hi Botanical Medicine Club, Ryan here. I hope you've gathered some supplies to make our gut supporting tea and you're ready to begin. So just to review the herbs that I'll be using, I have Althea Root, this is my demulcent. I have about two and a half to three tablespoons of this one. I also have Plantago here, that's gonna be my vulnerary. I have a blend of fennel seeds and um, mint leaf here and these are going to be my carminatives and then i have some rose here and you can also use the actual rose petal i just already had ground rose on hand so i'll be using that one so overall for this tea what you want to do is you want to have two to three parts of your demulcent and then you want one part vulnerary one part um, carminative and half a part or so of your astringents and um, as I mentioned in the first video um, our demulcents are best in a cold infusion uh, but also a long infusion will work and since we're going to be blending the demulcents with these other herbs we are going to be doing a hot infusion for this one but we're going to be letting it sit so again I just have two to three tablespoons of my demulcent I have a tablespoon of my uh, vulnerary and carminative and then um, this is about half a tablespoon I just sort of guessed for this one of the rose so what we're gonna do is we're just going to combine all of our herbs into a jar and let us know if you end up making this tea share with us on social media what herbs you used, how the tea came out, and if you enjoyed your tea. Try not to make too much of a mess here. Okay. Let's add the Althea. And if you do ever find Althea leaf, you can use the leaf as well. Um, it does extract a little bit better in a hot infusion. It just extracts a little bit more quickly than the root. It's a little less common though, but you can use either or. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a lid on my tea blend and give it a good shake to get it nice and mixed up. Okay, meanwhile, I'm also, I have a hot water here, a hot water heater. I'm also gonna start heating that up. All right, so this is pretty well mixed and this is just um, a small tea blend. I just did a few tablespoons. Uh, you can go ahead and make more and make a full jar if you want. And what we're gonna do, um, you're gonna add about one to two tablespoons of your tea mix into your 32 ounce jar, or you could also use a French press or something else comparable. So I'm gonna do two heaping tablespoons here. Let's see. And, um, with your tea blend, just store this with an airtight container and um, definitely keep it around for future use. And I have my hot water heating right now, so I'm just gonna let that go ahead and heat. All right, so my hot water is ready now. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my jar. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put a lid on the jar. It's important whenever you're making tea to always let it steep with the lid on if possible uh, to trap um, all the essential oils and aromatics that are coming out of the plant, which um, otherwise you're just gonna evaporate off. So I have my tea here. And um, since we have a blend of our demulcents 
with our other herbs, we are doing a hot infusion so that we can extract more compounds. But in order to make sure we're getting the benefit of our demulsants, we're gonna let this tea sit. So you can let this tea sit overnight or if you're making this during the day, just let it sit for several hours. And um, then when you're done, go ahead and strain the tea out and store it in the fridge and just enjoy it um, whenever you like. Just pour a cup and then when you drink it all, you can go ahead and make more with your tea blend. And um, that's everything for this gut supporting tea. I hope you guys like your tea blend. Please share with us on social media what herbs you're using and how your tea came out. We'll see you next week. Bye.